All right, let's knock out this Brotherhood team. Don't need vision. There's not much to dispel off of them. So I am a fan of Groot, as you know. I like his cleanse in case the pyro goes off uh, before you can blind him. And uh, sometimes you got to remove a disrupt from like Magneto or, or something like that. And the bleeds from Sabretooth. Just depends on how the blinds from Star-Lord land. All right. So everybody knows first turn. Always, always, always disrupt your juggernauts. Makes it so much easier. All right. Can't do anything about them right now because I'm blind, but I don't want to hit Pyro or Juggernaut because it makes them go faster. But I do want to blind the Pyro. And I got Mystique. Not bad. She only misses with her attack, which is very little damage. However, it does a lot of damage to Star-Lord, uh, which is really concerning. So uh, Sabretooth might kill him if he hits him. Yep, that hurts. Um... We can go ahead and cleanse this bleed, or we can add defense up and death proof, which is what I'd rather do. And now, let's bring everyone together and blind everyone. And then, we'll do our juggernaut charge for some big damage. And then, rocket ult. I'll kill Pyro. I'll get his death proof. That's fine. We can get rid of those. And he gets hit again. Uh, I'm going to save the Magneto special um, to try to get uh, Mystique with it next time she pops up. All right, we're going to clear that slow and off of him. He's blind, so it doesn't really matter. So let's do a splash damage to get rid of that death proof. So I don't need to worry about him. There, he's almost dead. Let's get him down anyway. Juggernaut punches him a whole bunch, and then splash damage her. That's fine. And then, see this uh, Magneto special will not miss, which is nice. And it goes straight through her evade, and also strips the evade, and any other buffs that she has, because I have it uh, upgraded with tier 4 abilities. So, that's it. Uh, easy kill on Brotherhood. And that's a pretty high level Brotherhood team, so... I mean, that's, that's the highest in our shard that I've seen of just pure brotherhood. Um, but you can see here, somebody else, Mr. Captain Spanko, got Ultron, and so good for him. So that means we have three Ultrons in our shard so far. I haven't seen any on anyone else with the nameplate um, thing pop up yet, so I think we are okay. Um, so hopefully I'll get later tonight, but uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. You never know. That that node is quite a pain in the ass. So, alrighty. Uh, let's open some orbs, see if we can get something decent out of these, just for the heck of it. Got a red star orb. Could be a seven star rocket. Who knows? Or it could not. Lame. All I want is rocket reds. The red rockets. That's what I'm looking for. Even a four star would be a nice little upgrade. All right, now I'm sitting on 28 mega orbs, waiting for Minerva to be added, who I believe is just around the corner. Uh, oh, nice war machines. I like war machine. I have him very high. Very cool. Very cool. So, Carnage was recently added to premium and mega orbs, as you may know. I don't know if they announced it. I don't recall seeing it, but I just saw it on Reddit or something. I think somebody posted about it. But yeah, Red Star Premium and Mega Orbs is where he can be found right now. Um, his campaign came out about, I think, two weeks or so before. Or no, his Blitz came out two weeks before the Minerva campaign started. So since he was added just a couple days ago, I think Minerva may be on the horizon. Uh, hopefully beginning of June. And once she gets added to those mega orbs, I'll be pulling all of them and hoping I can max out uh, her. Well, maybe not max her, but at least get her to six stars. And then uh, hopefully max out War Machine in the process and a couple other guys that have been lingering. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, easy kill on Brotherhood and then just uh, doing my, my stuff for the day. So, yeah. <laughs>